Hello students, I hope so you have gone through the previous uh, clip and you have understood. In the previous clip we have discussed about the types of nutrients, the functions. Okay, today we will see uh, the other topics. First I would like to start with deficiency disease. Deficiency diseases are those diseases that are caused due to lack of nutrients. If you don't take the nutrients in correct amount, then you might suffer from those diseases due to lack of those nutrients. Okay, in detail we'll go through each vitamins and minerals and the disease caused. Lack, due to lack of the vitamins and minerals, the disease caused. First is night blindness. This is caused due to lack of vitamin A. What is night blindness? It's poor vision at night or dim light. Okay, the person is not able to see clearly. Alright, that is due to lack of vitamin A. Function, if you have vitamin A, it keeps your eyes and skin healthy. And the sources are like carrots, spinach, papaya. Next is your, next, due to lack of vitamin B, that uh, the disease which is caused is beriberi. Beriberi is a type of disease, uh, two types of uh, beriberi are there, that is, that is wet beriberi and dry beriberi. Okay, dry beriberi, it damages nerves and it can even lead uh, to paralysis. A person can be paralyzed also. Alright, and wet beriberi, it affects heart and blood circulation. So, a person needs vitamin B also. Okay, to uh, not suffer from this disease. And once vitamin B is taken, it keeps nerves healthy and muscles healthy. Alright, sources are milk, spinach and meat. Next, due to lack of vitamin C, disease called scurvy is caused. This is uh, bleeding of gums. Okay, and if you take vitamin C, it makes your gums strong, helps wound heal quickly, plus strengthens the immune system sources are like citrus fruits green leafy vegetables okay now due to lack of vitamin d disease caused is rickets that is uh, the knees are bent shape all right the person's knees are bow shaped uh, due to weakening of bones all right and it can even uh, lead to teeth de uh, delayed formation and even holes in teeth also so vitamin b uh, d if it's taken it keeps uh, makes the bone and teeth strong and the sources are milk cheese fish butter due to lack of calcium a person suffers from osteoporosis all right osteoporosis is when the bone become weak all right and then as the bone becomes weak it can lead uh, to back pain also the person can suffer even from backache okay so if calcium is taken it helps uh, in growth of bones and teeth okay and the sources are milk eggs milk products fish and due to lack of iron, anemia is caused. You all know anemia is a disease in the blood. Okay, red blood cells are not produced properly. So if iron is taken, uh, it is used to make the red blood cells in the body. And the sources are grain, meat, green leafy vegetables, eggs, fruits. So these are the sources of iron. Now, you, there are certain uh, eating habits you need to follow. That is, eat at the same time daily, chew food well, rinse mouth properly after your meals, wash your hands before and after meals, eat in a clean place, maintain the table manners. This is very important. Okay, so these are the few good habits you need to follow while eating. Uh, food can be cooked and even eaten raw. Raw food which can be eaten are like salads, fruits, all right, and certain foods are that you cannot uh, eat without cooking those food. All right, so you need to cook, and there are different methods of cooking. They are steaming, frying, baking, roasting, boiling, steaming, like momos. Okay, that is steaming process. Okay, frying, you fry potatoes, puris. All right, baking, cakes, bread, you bake them. Roasting, you roast pepper, chicken. All right, boiling, you boil eggs, vegetables. So these are the different methods you can cook food and eat. And now uh, food can be preserved also. All right, like we should not waste the food. So we can preserve in different methods. They are drying, salting, sweetening, pickling, deep freezing, refrigerating, drying, drying of fruits like raisins, kishmish, right? There's uh, grapes when you dry it, uh, you can make raisins out of it, the kishmish. And that, that can be used in different foods. Sweetening, like making jams, jellies, pickling. You cut the fruits and vegetables and mix with uh, spice, salt and oil. You can make pickles. Deep freezing is to put in the freezer. Deep freezer to store things for longer period of time. Refrigerating is to store for shorter period of time in the fridge. Okay, so these are the different
Okay, the last topic is digestion. All right, we know this uh, digestion process, it takes place in our body. All right, what is digestion? Food should be broken down into small pieces or small form so that our body can use. This process is digestion. Now, our body has different organs which takes place, uh, which takes place in this digestion process. It will start, uh, they are the mouth, esophagus. You need to pronounce these as esophagus. Okay, O is silent. It's esophagus or the food pipe. You have the stomach, large intestine, rectum, small intestine, liver. So these are the organs that are involved in the digestive system. All right, it starts with your mouth. In mouth, the food is chewed and grind into paste. All right, saliva makes the food soft and paste. And the tongue, it rolls the food and it's, it is being swallowed. And through esophagus, it reaches your stomach. Stomach is a muscular bag-like structure. It mixes and squeezes the food with the stomach juices or the digestive juices. All right, and it digests food. And then the stomach from the stomach, it goes to your small intestine. Okay, in the small, uh, the small intestine is a long tube where the food mixes with more digestive uh, juice. All right, and one spe uh, special digestive juice called bile. It is made in your liver. Bile helps to digest fatty foods i mean fats all right and as food gets digested in small intestine it is absorbed by the walls of small intestine and sent to different parts of your body for utilization and undigested food passes into your large intestine in the large intestine water and minerals are absorbed and the waste is pushed out through your anus or the rectum okay in the form of stools so these are the uh, process involved in your digestion so this is the end of your lesson. I hope you will go through the club and please understand the lesson well. Thank you.